This is a 24 Action News special report. The goddess returns. We're getting ready once again to hopefully witness history in the making, and you have the best view in Central Texas. You're looking at a live picture from 24 Skycam of the gigantic CH-54 Skycrane helicopter as it's getting ready to try and place the new Goddess of Liberty atop the state capitol building. Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Dick Ellis, 24 Action News. The hope this morning is that the third time is the charm. Today's the third uh, day that attempts have been made to place, place the new Goddess of Liberty on top of the state capitol building. The gigantic CH-54 helicopter left Camp Mabry just a few moments ago and is slowly making its way to the state capitol building. It is coming uh, from the west and uh, in just a few minutes, just a very few minutes, it should be in position over the top of the state capitol building. Now, if you were with us back on uh, May the 31st and June the 1st, uh, you know what a frustrating time it was for the Texas National Guard. For those two days, a Texas Army National Guard CH-47 Chinook helicopter tried many times to put the goddess on top of the Capitol. This is video that was from May the 31st, but th those two attempts were simply not to be. Try as they might, the Guard simply could not get the goddess into place. One of the big difficulties at that time was that the pilots of the aircraft simply could not see where they and the goddess were in relation to the cruciform, that huge support pole at the top of the Capitol. Well, that was two weekends ago, and what has been going on since then and the fine-tuning of the plans is what you're going to be seeing this morning. The big change, of course, is the use of the CH-54 or Sky Crane helicopter. This chopper is specifically designed to pick up and put down loads with pinpoint accuracy. One of the features of the aircraft is that it has a cockpit that is facing backwards. A member of a crew actually faces towards the rear of the aircraft. You see a live picture from uh, our 24 Skycam of the, Chine of the uh, Sky Crane as it makes its approach to the Capitol building. As we mentioned, a member of the crew actually faces towards the rear of the aircraft and has a perfect view of the payload, in this case, the Texas Goddess of Liberty. That crew member then can actually see where the goddess is in relation to the cruciform and he can tell the pilot which way to go to the center of the goddess near the top of the capitol. If need be as well, a pilot, uh, pilot can sit in that rear-facing seat and actually fly the helicopter from that seat. That gives him a much better control over the aircraft, and he should be able to maneuver the helicopter into position with much greater accuracy. The Sky Crane is uh, very close to the state capitol building right now. It is uh, just due west of the Capitol building. You're uh, looking now at a picture from our vantage point, and you can see the National Guard crew members who are on top of the uh, state Capitol building, ready to uh, hopefully maneuver the goddess in place. Uh, as you know, the Sky Crane helicopter comes to us from Mississippi. The folks from the Mississippi National Guard uh, volunteered to uh, bring this uh, huge Sky Crane helicopter over to make this attempt. Of course, the Texas National Guard uh, members are certainly appreciative of that. There's another difference uh, with this helicopter as well. The Sky Crane helicopter has a winch that is mounted in the cargo area to which the goddess is attached. Now, when they get over the cruciform and they are maneuvering into position right now, the operation of the winch will allow the goddess to be lowered directly onto the cruciform. That means the pilot of the aircraft does not have to raise or lower the aircraft itself. He just has to worry about keeping the sky crane in place. The crew member facing the statue will then attack, uh, activate the winch, hopefully lower the uh, statue into place. They uh, maneuvering into position now. The uh, closest shot that you had a little while ago showed you uh, some of the streamers that have been attached on the uh, scaffolding. Also, you uh, see the, that uh, a Texas flag has been uh, draped around the uh, lower part of the goddess. Uh, this is uh, one thing that Roy Graham, the Capitol architect, told me yesterday that uh, they wanted to do, wanted to try to uh, add a little bit more color to the, today's activities. Uh, you'll notice also that uh, from a little different from when the uh, Chinook attempt was made, that uh, the goddess uh, is not turning uh, quite as much. Uh, part of this, part of the reason here is because this helicopter is equipped with what we call a single rotor system, what the pilots call a single rotor system. It has only one big blade uh, up there turning. Actually, there are six blades, but you remember the uh, Chinook uh, looked kind of like a double egg beater uh, situation. 
Uh, but this uh, single rotor system uh, helps stabilize the aircraft. And obviously, it's helping to stabilize the goddess as well. They're moving closer into position. Uh, a tremendous, uh, tremendously awesome sight as the goddess is uh, maneuvered into position. They're getting uh, much closer now. They look to be about uh, 30 to 40 feet away from the top of the cruciform. If you joined us on May the 31st and June the 1st, uh, you may recall that we had a uh, television camera mounted in the bottom of that Chinook helicopter. Unfortunately, uh, with the arrival of this Sky Crane helicopter from Mississippi, uh, we didn't. Uh, it only got into town yesterday, and we simply haven't had enough time to put in uh, that television camera. Uh, but uh, we'll still have some excellent vantage points for you this morning. The guide ropes coming off the bottom of the goddess uh, had now been grabbed by some of the uh, Texas National Guardsmen who were on top. You'll notice also that the uh, scaffolding, uh, which was erected around the cruciform, is not quite as high. Uh, this is uh, in hopes of uh, getting the statue and the helicopter a little bit closer. Let's watch a little bit now as they uh, maneuver the goddess uh, a little bit into position. About two, three feet away now. They're signaling to go ahead and lower the winch. They're going to take their time about it, uh, as they did uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're going to take their time and hopefully uh, get it on there just right. It is a little breezy around the top of the Capitol building this morning. Uh, they had to postpone from their 9 o'clock uh, attempt. They postponed it until now because of some low cloud cover. A little bit of breeze up there this morning, but uh, hopefully not enough to uh, scrub the mission. Another difference from uh, the last time, after their experiences two weeks ago, the uh, top portion of the cruciform where you see the uh, red paint at the top of the cruciform has been rounded somewhat so that uh, it's not a, a, an exact square up there. Uh, hopefully this will uh, enable them to maneuver the goddess into position uh, on that cruciform. Taking their time, the uh, crewmen on top of the uh, Capitol don't seem to be very concerned uh, about trying to rush the situation at all. The God is now uh, hanging about 10 feet over the top of the cruise floor. There you see the uh, Sky Crane helicopter, a good picture there of that Sky Crane helicopter. And uh, right in the middle uh, of the, uh, below the uh, crew deck that you can see uh, facing you, there is another crew deck uh, where a pilot can is actually sitting uh, and can maneuver the aircraft as well. That's the closest they've come so far. They're very, very close. They're backing off just a little bit. coming in for another attempt. That helicopter is almost motionless as we view from our vantage point uh, below the grounds of the state capitol. Uh, very, very small movement. so close. As we mentioned a couple of weeks ago, nobody said that this was going to be easy. And obviously, it is not.
we mentioned, it's a little breezy uh, up there. Besides wind that the sky crane is kicking up with that huge rotor, uh, there is a little bit of breeze uh, just above the Capitol Dome uh, that that helicopter has to hover in. Uh, and that uh, certainly is not adding to the ease of this operation. Still trying to move in a little bit closer every time. And as you can see, they have done it. No, they are not taking her off the cruciform again. They're simply maneuvering her into position so that she will face south, just like the original Goddess of Liberty. We certainly hope they are not going to take her off again. But as long as they've got the sky crane there, they wanted to maneuver her so that she would be facing south. And there she is. And she has been detached from the helicopter. The sky crane begins to move away. And the new Texas goddess of liberty stands firm atop the state capitol. There you see some of the uh, crowd uh, that gathered uh, down at the capitol grounds today, and they have uh, obviously witness history, there are about 1,500 people gathered down there this morning. Uh, truly tremendous sight, excellent job by uh, the Mississippi National Guardsmen and the uh, Texas National Guardsmen. By the way, there uh, is a Colonel member Colonel of the Texas County. National Guard crew uh, on board the helicopter and uh, Colonel, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Jim Looney of uh, Hitchcock, who was the pilot of the uh, Chinook uh, run. Uh, but obviously uh, uh, they have succeeded this morning and um, as you can see, the sky crane is uh, moving back over into position, uh, just kind of check out their handiwork, uh, we believe, right now. Uh, but there she is, the Goddess of Liberty stands atop the state capitol building. National Guard crew members are uh, busy around uh, the goddess, uh, taking down the uh, Texas flag that had been attached. It is a beautiful sight, the first time in six months that the goddess has been on top of the state capitol building. There you see the sky crane. And our view from 24 sky cam of the sky crane and the uh, new goddess back on top. Beautiful picture there on this Saturday morning. Mark it in your calendars. June the 14th of 1986, the goddess is back up on top of the state capitol building. Good bit of applause and good bit of cheering from the uh, crowd that was down there uh, at the exact moment that the goddess was placed on top of the uh, capitol dome. see the Texas National Guardsmen raising their hands uh, in a salute. Obviously, they are very, very happy uh, that this has uh, finally been accomplished. They have been training and practicing uh, for weeks and weeks. And uh, of course, they were very, very frustrated uh, by the unsuccessful attempts uh, to get the goddess on top of the state capitol building. Uh, but there she is. And all that good, hard work and all that long practice certainly paid off as they uh, continue to attach her to the uh, top of the dome there. There's no way in the world she's going to come off, uh, but they have been successful and they've been able to put the goddess uh, back on top of the Capitol. Now, when we talk about a tribe, we've seen here 26 tribes, but when we, a tribe's got to be when we're talking about 
Let's see a live picture again from Skycam of the uh, goddess up on top of the crucifix, uh, up on top of the state capitol building. A uh, very emotional uh, scene for uh, everybody. Karen Sunlighter is down on the Capitol grounds talking with uh, Colonel Herb Pertle of the uh, Texas National Guard. Karen? We've got Colonel Pertle here. Can you tell us how the operation went? Did they have to change pilots up there? It was a well, little difficult it, at first. It went very smooth. <laughs> it appeared they did change pilots. I did not have contact with them or talk to them because it's pretty busy. But when you saw the aircraft come back up at about 20 feet above the Gotti, or the uh, top of the dome, I'm sure the pilot in the right seat took it, and then he come back down. It was very tiring on him. I was watching you as the goddess was being put down, and I saw a lot of uh, cheering, a lot of thumbs up over there. This has got to be a very proud moment for the guard. It is. We're very proud to get her back up there, and uh, it went up very beautiful. Herb uh, Pirtle from the Texas National Guard. That's the situation down here on the Capitol grounds. There will be a celebration for everyone involved in this operation at Camp Mabry uh, later on this evening. Back to you, Dick. All right. Thank you very much, Karen. And uh, as you, uh, as Colonel Pirtle noted, uh, it was very tiring exercise uh, for everybody concerned. Texas National Guardsmen and Mississippi National Guardsmen as well. Uh, it has been an, uh, an exciting uh, morning for them and uh, for everybody here. And uh, our congratulations to both the Texas National Guard and the Mississippi National Guard for their efforts and work on the project. The Goddess of Liberty is back on top of the state capitol building. It is an honor to be a part of history. And now you have been a part of history too. We've been pleased to bring you this very special report this morning. Thank you for joining us and have a pleasant weekend. This has been a 24 Action News special report. We now return to regular programming. We'll find them. Two males, a girl.
Oh, they're in the air. I can see them. We can see them from here. We're on the air. We're getting ready once again to hopefully witness history in the making, and you have the best view in Central Texas. You're looking at a live picture from 24 Skycam of the gigantic CH-54 Skycrane helicopter as it's getting ready to try and place the new Goddess of Liberty atop the state capitol building. Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Dick Ellis, 24 Action News. The hope this morning is that the third time is the charm. Today's the third uh, day that attempts have been made to place, place the new Goddess of Liberty on top of the state capitol building. The gigantic CH-54 helicopter left Camp Mabry just a few moments ago and is slowly making its way to the state capitol building. It is coming uh, from the west and uh, in just a few minutes, just a very few minutes, it should be in position over the top of the state capitol building. Now, if you were with us back on uh, May the 31st and June the 1st, uh, you know what a frustrating time it was for the Texas National Guard. For those two days, a Texas Army National Guard CH-47 Chinook helicopter tried many times to put the goddess on top of the Capitol. This is video that was from May the 31st, but th those two attempts were simply not to be. Try as they might, the Guard simply could not get the goddess into place. One of the big difficulties at that time was that the pilots of the aircraft simply could not see where they and the goddess were in relation to the cruciform, that huge support pole at the top of the Capitol. Well, that was two weekends ago, and what has been going on since then and the fine-tuning of the plans is what you're going to be seeing this morning. The big change, of course, is the use of the CH-54 or sky crane helicopter. This chopper is specifically designed to pick up and put down loads with pinpoint accuracy. One of the features of the aircraft is that it has a cockpit that is facing backwards. A member of a crew actually faces towards the rear of the aircraft. You see a live picture from uh, our 24 Skycam of the, Chino of the uh, Sky Crane as it makes its approach to the Capitol building. As we mentioned, a member of the crew actually faces towards the rear of the aircraft and has a perfect view of the payload, in this case, the Texas Goddess of Liberty. That crew member then can actually see where the goddess is in relation to the cruciform and he can tell the pilot which way to go to send to the goddess near the top of the Capitol. If need be as well, a pilot, uh, pilot can sit in that rear-facing seat and actually fly the helicopter from that seat. That gives him a much better control over the aircraft, and he should be able to maneuver the helicopter into position with much greater accuracy. The Sky Crane is uh, very close to the State Capitol building right now. It is uh, just due west of the Capitol building. You're uh, looking now at a picture from our vantage point, and you can see the National Guard crew members who are on top of the uh, State Capitol building, ready to uh, hopefully maneuver the goddess in place. Uh, as you know, the Sky Crane helicopter comes to us from Mississippi. The folks from the Mississippi National Guard uh, volunteered to uh, bring this uh, huge Sky Crane helicopter over to make this attempt. Of course, the Texas National Guard uh, members are certainly appreciative of that. There's another difference uh, with this helicopter as well. The Sky Crane helicopter has a winch 